All right, uh, obviously, uh, you know, hard stand up here, um, losing at home and um, a great crowd came out to support us and uh, thankful for that. Um, you know, we knew this was going to be a tough ball game. We knew that uh, uh, we talked all week about it being a 60 minute ball game. And, um, you know, we were fighting toe to toe, um, you know, big stat, you know, 14 to three in the fourth quarter. Um, that is not the way you finish. Um, you play on a team that uh, was in the Sun Belt Championship last year, and if you want to compete for a Sun Belt title, you got to be able to go uh, take that. And um, we got outrushed. Uh, we're a running football team, and uh, we got outrushed, and um, and then couldn't uh, couldn't keep up. You know, we got to learn to score in the red zone, uh, score touchdowns, not just field goals. Um, it, that's what it's going to take. Um, so we got a lot of work to do, and um, you know that starts with me. And um, obviously, you know um, this loss is on me, and uh, we got to go back to work tomorrow and uh, see what we can fix and get better. All right, coach. So you guys had a couple things to be really positive about tonight, but the unfortunate fact remains that when people just look at the standings or look at the records, it unfortunately does just say a one and three start to the season. Uh, you're going into your team meeting on Monday. What's your message to the guys? Well, the team meeting will be tomorrow because we're playing on Thursday and we got to flip the switch and we got to go. Um, uh, the message is going to be the exact message I gave them after the game of uh, we are one and three. Uh, that is not an expectation at Georgia Southern. Um, you know, so now we, because we talk about it all the time, being a tight knit group and being a family. Um, if you let a one and three start divide your family, season's not going to be very good. Uh, so that's what we talked about. We talked about can we get closer? Can we get tighter? Can we look at ourselves? Can we self-scout ourselves? Each individual, me, me self-scout myself, um, self-scout our staff, you know, what can we do better um, to, to make us get better? Yeah, sure, you, anytime you got stats and numbers and you can pick out positives, and sure, we'll do that. Uh, we'll, we will pick out positives. But again, when it's all said and done, we're one in three, and uh, that's not good enough. Coach, defensively, you guys give up over 500 yards of offense, 37 points. I think most people thought the defense might be the strength of the team, and you may have to kind of get there offensively, and especially with Shy being hurt. Can you put your finger on what's going wrong with the defense right now? Uh, well, uh, when you watch this game, I, I got a sneaky feeling when we watch it, there's going to be a lot of um, – plays where we were in position and there was a lot of yards after contact. Um, and, you, you know, there you were probably going to see that Louisiana controlled the line of scrimmage um, and their running backs ran really hard and, uh, you know, uh, pretty much established the run. When you start looking at 275 yards rushing by them and 215 by us and we're a running football team, um, they controlled it. And uh, so we're going to probably look at that and we're going to go – are we good enough to make the plays when it's time to make the play, or is the other guy better? And uh, that's what we're going to have to figure out. And uh, again, we're going to have to coach them harder. We're going to coach them better. And, uh, you know, keep it, it, the worst thing we can do is just sit here and go, well, let's scrap everything. And uh, no, let's continue to build on what we got. And uh, let's try to get our guys better. And let's try to get our staff better and uh, put a better product on the field. Coach, you just said you've got, you know, a game coming up in a short time span on Thursday. H how do you, you know, weigh the detriment of, like you said, having a lot of things that you need to look at and work on and improve on versus, you know, maybe the benefit of just being able to get out there, play again, and hopefully, you know, get a win, get something, uh, some positive momentum going in the right direction for you? Well, I, I think we'd be making a, a mistake if we didn't really look at this tape and really evaluate us. Um, because when it comes down to it, you know, that's what it's going to be about. Um, we're going to, I mean, this is, this is tough. I mean, we're going to have to, we're going to get ready for a Thursday night game. And, you know, South Alabama is an improved football team. And um, we've got to, you know, we've got to be able to learn from this game and then get ready for the next one. Um, we're just going to have to spend more time at it. And, uh, you know, obviously we're limited on what we can do with our guys. But as coaches, we've got to put the time in and make sure we've got a great plan for them.
Uh, Coach, Jai Wirtz back, and next game you'll have Wesley Kennedy back. What are your expectations for the offense, specifically the running side of it? Well, I, I think, you know, I think we will watch some things from this game and we'll go, wow, you know, this is this is why Shy Wirtz is our starting quarterback. This is why things can get going with him. Um, because, you know, he did make some plays. I, probably a little rusty on some things, but, you know, managed very well. Um, you know, Wesley Kennedy is a extra deal for us. He's a juice guy. He's a guy that's got a little bit of a speed and, and, and a, you know, a difference maker for us. He has been a player for us since he's been here. So, obviously, that is a big piece to get back to our puzzle. And, um, you know, obviously, we're going to be able to be better because he's back. Coach, you talk about um, y'all's plan to win uh, coming into every game is, you know, pretty much the same. Don't Eagles, don't beat Eagles, um, and so on. I guess tonight, uh, before you watch the film, can you kind of run through that checklist and, and tell us how you think you guys did in those categories? Yeah, um, you know, so here's the deal. We, we talk about our plan to win. We got five things that we do. We talk about our turnovers, takeaway margin. Uh, we talk about our outrushing the opponent, okay? We talk about playing great special teams to change the game. We talk about Eagles don't beat Eagles, no self-inflicted wounds, and we talk about finishing. All right, so when you run down this, we were plus two today in turnover takeaways, okay? So we accomplished that goal. The running game did not. That's tough when you're a running football team and you don't dominate the run game, then that's a problem. Uh, special teams, you know, we'll have to look at it, but obviously getting two turnovers, um, you know, with, with them dropping punts, muffing punts, um, that's obviously, you know, um, a, a good thing for us. Uh, only three penalties tonight, um, so there was not a lot of self-inflicted wounds um, like there have been, so that did improve. Um, and then the biggest thing that's going to stick out in the plan to win to us when we sit in here as a team is 14-3 to in the fourth quarter. That's – the difference in the ball game. We needed to get some stops. You know, if you if you want to, you go back to the first quarter, second quarter, and you you're, you're kicking field goals instead of uh, scoring touchdowns. That could have made a difference. Uh, but you know, not being able to score more points than them in the fourth obviously didn't allow us to win this football game. Uh, Coach, this is one of your personal strengths. Will you um, speak to Eagle Nation? Uh, directly tonight and, and, and tell them uh, your thoughts after this game and, and, and what you guys are planning to do moving forward? Yeah, you know, um, I, you know, I would encourage Eagle Nation not to give up on us, uh, not to give up on our team. Um, you know, I, I, I'm a big, big boy. I, I mean, I get it. And, and people are going to say what they say, and, and that's fine. You, you know, ultimately, my life is going to be defined how I affected each person in this room on this football team individually, what did I teach them for later in life? Winning football games allows me to do that longer. Losing football games probably allows that to do shorter, but that's okay. God's got me. God orders my steps, and that's what defines me, an audience of one. Eagle Nation, I love you. Don't give up on us, because we're going to be back. We're going to be fine. <laughs> Coach, it seems like one of the themes so far has been, even in the main game, even in some of these games, even the game you won, the red zone inefficiency. And I know you've addressed that, but it comes up again tonight. Is there, I know you don't want to put, press the panic button, but do you feel like there's some things that just aren't working when you get into the red zone? Sure. I mean, we got to, you know, I think we got to self evaluate this. Um, I'm not going to, you know, I think we've got good enough players. I, I don't think it's a, a player problem. Um, I think we got to get down there and execute. Uh, right now, we just don't have the mentality to go put it in. But again, I'm not looking for more victories in this game, but I will point this out. Watch how the run game started to get going in the second half. Watch how the push started to happen. This was a heavyweight fight. Okay, this was a championship field game. And, and really it was. I mean, for us to go and win this game would have put us in position to go compete for the Sun Belt title. This was a championship atmosphere. Okay, so we knew we were playing a good football team. The positives I see is we kept pushing, kept pushing, kept pushing, kept pushing, and things started breaking. You saw J.D. King get bigger runs. You saw Logan Wright get bigger runs. And it's not just because they have talent, but it's because guys are getting pushed and opening up holes. Again, 
if we're going to do what we do, we've got to be able to do that earlier in the ball game too. And so we've got to look at that, and uh, we've got to figure out what we can do better in the red zone. Obviously, we work on it every week. We put ourselves in situations to do that. Um, we've got to find a way to make it maybe harder on our guys and, and, and see if we can raise the standard there and, and, and then go exceed it. Coach, you've talked about how uh, the Sun Belt this year is probably as good as it's been in a while and how there's a lot of parity in this league. And so while one and three, you know, as you mentioned, you don't want to hit the panic button at the same time, with the, the league being a little bit better overall, there's not a lot of room for error. How do you walk that line between not pressing the panic button but at the same time making everybody realize that, you know, things, if they want to achieve their goals, have to turn around sooner rather than later? Well, I think if I walk in this room tomorrow and I go, hey, we're going to change everything, what are we going to do? What are we going to look like? That's not going to, that's not going to work. So we're going to come in here. We're going to evaluate ourselves. We're going to figure out what our strengths are, what our weaknesses are. We're going to go work harder on our strengths, try to get our weaknesses a little bit better, but concentrate on what we can do good and continue to push along. Okay? I, I truly believe we got a football team that is not pointing fingers. I think that they're all in this together. Um, you know, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. And um, I think they'll respond. Um, Coach, moving into Thursday's game against South Alabama, I guess, can you update us on um, Jacob Cooper's injury and his status for that game? And then just uh, to confirm, Wes Kennedy will be back on Thursday. Uh, yeah, Jacob Cooper um, suffered a concussion. Um, he will be out for this game, or he was out today, and he'll be out for the next game also. Uh, Wesley Kennedy will be back and um, be ready to play Thursday night. Um, I haven't got an update on him yet um, as far as severity of anything. All right, that's it. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thank you all.